this is either going to be Vlogmas Day 19 or 19? 20? I don't know. I can't even think right now. To be honest, I don't even know what day it is today. Except that it is uh, Tuesday? No, Wednesday. Alright, so I am going to do I'm kind of a mukbang. It was not planned at all. But I need a minute. I have to go to work today. <clears throat> but before I do, I have to tell you about my day. Like my morning. It is currently 11.25. And where I'm sitting, it's, it's 27 degrees outside. It's stinking cold. If you are expecting... <coughs> excuse me. If you are expecting... A unicorn and rainbows vlogmas video this is not your video this is going to be a relatable um, rant Christmas rant that's all I can I hope it's relatable I really do because I have to tell you about my morning you guys I feel like are my people now and maybe this helps somebody maybe it helps me to feel better I don't know but Anyways, that I have to eat my lunch while I do it, so I'm sorry for that. Um, yep, I have Burger King. Burger King is, I don't know, I've been craving it lately. Alright, so this morning, let's, let's just say, I do have on my, um, resting Grinch face shirt, which was not planned, but... You know, I got up. I thought, I'm going to wear a Christmas shirt today. And, um, it's going to be lovely. I'm in a good mood. I'm fine. I'm healthy. Good day. I went downstairs. And if you saw my thumbnail, you can see what I walked into. If I walk down my stairs and in my foyer... I can see, you know, I have like double doors that are open right now because I have to have furniture moved all around my living room to fit my Christmas tree. Then I have another door beside those and I can see into my living room and my beautiful, like I have two living rooms, like a sitting room and then a living room right next to each other. Like they're one space kind of. And I can walk down those beautiful stairs and I can see my beautiful Christmas tree. When I walked down the stairs this morning, what I saw was not my beautiful Christmas tree. I saw a Christmas tree. It was standing, but there was a mess everywhere. A big mess. I have renovations going on in my family room. So the friend of ours that is doing the drywall work for us brought his four-year-old, love said four-year-old, super cute kid, and my husband was in the chair. They were watching cartoons, not a care in the world, and there's a mess on the floor, and he looks at me, he says, good morning, honey. The cat knocked over the Christmas tree, and I, you know, I did get it set up, but there's a mess. What? Like, number one, it's a live Christmas tree. It is pokey. I mean, to decorate that thing, I need like those big Kevlar glove things because it pokes the crap out of you. So, my husband, I'm like, first thing I'm thinking is when I, I want to step out of, I need a wife. I need a wife. Because if that would have, I want to think that, or be a husband for the day. That'd be lovely too. I want to just start by saying that I love my husband. He is a hard worker. He is a lovely person. But I'm, I want to think that if I had seen that, that I would have thought, oh my gosh, my wife spent two hours decorating this gorgeous Christmas tree. Yes, I'm to tooting my own horn because it was lovely it was wonderful and 
I, I'm just, I'm like, why wouldn't he think to himself, oh my gosh, she spent two hours decorating this tree for her family so that it's gorgeous on Christmas morning and set the tree up. Why? I mean, I understand he's a guy. He doesn't know how to decorate a Christmas tree except for to throw some ornaments on there. I would have thought that he could have gotten on YouTube and watched the most gorgeous Christmas tree video. I mean, there's tons of them. Just look up Christmas trees and you'll find lovely ones. And I would have found the most gorgeous one that my, I thought my wife would love. And I would have learned how to decorate a Christmas tree before my wife got out of bed. Because there's no way in hell I would have wanted her to walk downstairs and see all of her ornaments on the floor. Broken. Shattered. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. I really don't. I, I, hence Burger King. Burger King. So, that's not what happened. That is not what happened. Not in my house. My husband sitting in the chair watching cartoons saying, um, I was just going to go get the, uh, the broom. Yeah, you look like you were going to get the broom. So, luckily, my ornaments, I, I got them picked up. <clears throat> there were, there was one ornament on my tree that I was so sad because I was like, where is this ornament? It's a red ornament. It was my grandmother's. It was on their first Christmas tree. And it is very precious. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm I'm gonna cry because I cannot find this this ornament. Luckily, it had not shattered and it had rolled over to a lovely corner somewhere in the living room. Just perfect. I took that ornament and besides the ones of my baby, my, my kids' baby ornaments, I took that ornament and I put it in its little a little glass house, my terrarium. I put it in there with sweet baby Jesus that I need to remember and that there is a sweet baby Jesus right now because I'm not feeling very um, spirity today. I'm I'm just not. I'm feeling more Grinch than than a Christmas spirit. Um, so anyways, I get that all cleaned up and I'm thinking I need to film a video for tomorrow so that I'm not even more stressed. I'm trying to get my, film my Vlogmas videos a day ahead so that I can come home at night, edit them, and they'll be good to go first thing in the morning. So, <coughs> in a little baggie, I take... I have it right here actually my glossy box that I opened I put that in a bag I put my advent uh, ornament or advent gift from Christy Georgia sunshine in the bag and my gift from uh, Sarah at let's unbox y'all in a bag and I'm thinking yesterday I tried to film a video and the double doors kept opening and all this stuff and I have this creaky house and you know and this four-year-old he's walking around and people are walking around and I, even though I have those doors closed it's just it's stressing me out so I'm gonna get in my car and I'm going to do the best darn unboxing I can do in my car it's I go out there it is perfect like my car looks I've never wanted to get in my car so bad in my life. And it is all frosted over. You can't see anything out any window. And it is beautiful. And I'm thinking, oh, the angels are coming down and singing. Because I'm going to get in this car. And I'm going to do this unboxing by myself. And it's going to be wonderful. As much as a car unboxing can be, I guess. So, I don't scrape my windows. I'm sitting in here. I, you know, minding my own business. And I get to about um, minute eight and a half, nine maybe, of an 11 minute video. And I think I even said, if somebody comes out here, God, just don't let anybody come out here right now. 
let me enjoy this while my windows are defrosting. I look over and there's my husband and he's looking in the window and I pause the video and I'm, he's like, well, honey, if I would have known you were out here um, and needed your window scraped, I would have scraped your window. I didn't want my window scraped. I didn't. I didn't want them scraped. I wanted to sit in my unscraped car, 19 degrees at the time in the town that I live in, and make my video and just be by myself until I had to go to work. But can I say that? No, because my husband is in his little t-shirt and he doesn't have a coat on and he is just like, honey, I'm going to scrape your windows for you so that, you know, you can, you can go, you can go to work. And I'm like, well, I was out here making a video. Now, normally he knows that I'm making a video means go away. But bless his heart, not today. Not today. Today, he gets in, opens the back door and gets out the little scraper and <laughs> he scrapes all my windows. Bless his soul. I didn't want my windows scraped. <laughs> I just wanted to, I just wanted five minutes to myself. five minutes. So now, I am sitting in the Target parking lot with my Burger King just watching happy people go by. Because I'm not happy. I'm going to get that way, I promise. I think I feel better now. Now that I have you know, gotten my video all done but I think I'm a wife and a mom and I know that I probably sound like the biggest bee in the world and my lovely bath and body works and my chocolate and my stocking are going to be replaced with coal this year because I have <laughs> just ranted about the fact that my husband in 19 degree weather scraped my windows. I know how ridiculous that sounds. But sometimes as moms, we need five minutes. We just need five minutes. Five minutes that we can be by ourselves, recharge. I was talking to Christy on Marco Polo and she said, you know, sometimes we do. We feel bad as moms because we need five minutes to recharge. Sometimes we need a four minute vacation, you know, by ourselves. We need to just, she said, how lovely would it be to just be able to go to the beach, sit under an umbrella, read a book, order or room service, and not have to worry about anybody but yourself. That sounds awesome to me. I want that. <laughs> so, can I go to the beach? No. Am I going to do something? Yes. Yeah, I am. I'm going to go to the movies by myself tomorrow. I decided I'm going to leave work early. There's a message on my phone. Um, I'm going to leave work early. I'm not going to tell anybody what time I'm leaving. And I'm going to go to the movies by myself. I'm <coughs> Excuse me. Sick girl problems here. I'm going to um, yeah, I'm going to order a big tub of popcorn and a Coke, and it's going to be the best daggum movie I've ever seen in my life. Never gone to the movies by myself, but I'm going to take my five minutes and recharge. My oldest, my 20-year-old, is coming 
to uh, for Christmas here in Nebraska on Saturday and I'm gonna enjoy him while he's here and I'm going to be filled with the Christmas spirit but I'm gonna take five minutes to just be alone and I hope that you will too I hope that you will find a nugget of time to call a friend big or YouTube and just have this big huge rant and sound like the worst person in the world and just feel better and then go to a movie don't if you're gonna take a hot bath because that's what you love to do do it in a hotel room by yourself not one of the mountain ones a good one and know just recharge because you're gonna be a better mom I got lipstick that is my life today that is my day um you're gonna be better for it and then you're gonna be filled with the Christmas spirit like I'm gonna be and yep that's what's gonna happen with all of us I hope everybody has a lovely day don't forget to hit that subscribe button please and um I'll talk to you later